Hey, what's going on, DC Universe addicts? This is Seaspray coming at you, give your DC Universe fix. Gonna do another figure today. This is Green Arrow Classics Wave 9, figure 7. Picked this up at a local discount shop, regularly $12.99. Got it for $10. Bucks. Very nice. Boxing Day special. Yeah, the figure in there looks pretty cool. Looks great. Paint apps looks really nice. Does come with a bunch of assortment of trick arrows. Look pretty cool. Love that boxing glove one. That's funny. Looks nice in there. Nice back drop. Nice artwork from different figures from the series. Looking pretty. This guy is part of a uh, build-in or collect and connect figure piece, but he, this guy only comes with a stand. And this guy came out, of course, a little bit prior to uh, his re-release in the newer series, where it comes with that little pin and stuff like that. But you can see the other figures that came out in the series. Collect and connect to build camo figure. Guy looks awesome. Of course, we have Black Canary, Mantis, Black Adam, Guardian, Deadshot, Wildcat, and Green Arrow. All these guys look great, um, especially Wildcat and Deadshot and Black Adam and Mantis. Black Canary and Garden, not so much. Camo looks awesome. I think that's how you say his name, Camo, if I'm not uh, right. So down here just says Green Arrow, just a little picture of him. And it just reads, um, of course, biography. After falling overboard during a South Seas cruise, Oliver Queen washed up on, on a desolate island. Facing starvation, Queen fashioned a bow and arrows to hunt game and became an ace archer. Rescue Queen. Queen attended a costume party in Robin Hood in Robin Hood regalia and foiled a robbery. Using his hard-won archery skills, thrilled by experience, Queen decided to continue fighting for innocent and downtrodden as the emerald are known as Green Arrow. That is awesome. So statistics, they just read first appearance, more fun comics number 73, November 1941. Real name Oliver Queen, occupation hero, base of operations, Star City, special abilities, an expert archer wielding a variety of trick arrows, formidable hand to hand co components. Very awesome. Of course, this is brought to us by Mattel. Matic Collector, what up? Okay, so let's just open this guy up, take him out of the package, and go over him in further detail. Alright, let's do this. Okay, and here we have this guy out of the package. Green Arrow in full force. This guy's cool. He's really cool. Nicely detailed. Love that color shading on there, like on the muscle definition and what have you, and the, and the beard and stuff like that. This is a cool figure. Um, some things lack, which we'll go over in a few seconds here, but for the most part, I really like this guy. Um, he looks so cool. I love that bow and arrow. So starting from the top, um, his, his hat's pretty cool. Green, obviously, guys, all green. Green arrow, hence. <laughs> so he does have a little feather on there, kind of like Robin Hood, which is pretty neat. And uh, leading into the face, you know, the mask is really well painted. Same with the eyes. Eyes are white. Mask is green, obviously. And the facial features on there is just pretty cool. Uh, the mustache and beard and all that look fantastic, and the hair looks great. Like I said, the coloring in there and the and the shading looks great. Um, I love the skin tone with kind of like a dark wash over it with in certain areas to define to represent a shading and, and tone and stuff like that which looks great um, you know leading into this chest area you know the costumes pretty stuff like that which looks great um, you know leading into this chest area you know the costumes pretty cool it has the green and the light green with a little um, band going over his back that's for the backpack we'll show you in a few seconds here of course, you got the cross stitching in there, and then he has uh, the arms, the archer gloves, and the armbands and stuff like that. And uh, leading to his waist, you can see the G on there, G, -G, -G unit. And uh, yeah, very cool. Down, leading down into the legs and the boots and all that. It looks great. The coloring's great. I really wish they would have took uh, a dark tone and uh, the wash on the skin tone. I wish they kind of blended that into the costume part of the legs and stuff like that. But I'm not complaining. It looks great. Take a look at the back here, you can see his backpack and all the little folded in arrows in there. It's really sad, you can't put any of his arrows into his backpack. They should have left some spots so you could put them in there. Would have helped for you know for storage and stuff like that so you don't lose it. And it just would have made sense in my opinion. But it's not a big deal. But the bow itself looks pretty cool, you know, it looks really neat. I think it does come off, but you have to move around his his hand and stuff like that, but I won't get into that. I, and I think the arrow is actually one with the bow, which is, mm, it's okay. Some people w really wish that it wasn't, but I don't really, I don't mind it. And of course you got the hands. One is to hold 
the bow and other to hold the arrow to look like it's pulling it back on there, of course. It's really nice. What else? Yeah, the bow looks pretty cool. You know, it's nice. Nothing special, but it's nice. So we went over the backpack and... Well, I'm pretty sure it has a name, I just don't know it offhand. And the bow. And, of course, the arrow, the molten-on arrow. It also comes with, like I said, four individual arrows that I wish they could have stored in the backpack. Um, I'll just take a quick look at them. You know, you have this one, I guess it's for a rope and the balls on it, to, like, I guess, to, like, Batman throws his rope and to wrap around the ankles, I guess, I'm assuming. Next up, we have a studded one, maybe an explosive one. It's kind of hard to see, but it's pretty cool. And what else? This one is also, I think, a timer bomb. It's a little, I think, zero, 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 it says on there. Explosive, and of course, the boxing glove, which is pretty funny. Boop. But yeah, pretty cool. So other than that, nothing really else going on. You know, he looks pretty cool. See the the bow? It kind of moves around like this, but I'm not too sure if it comes off. I'm not gonna chance it break his fingers. I've broken a few uh, figures that way, trying to force in uh, weapons and stuff like that. So for articulation, we'll just go over it quickly here. If you guys, you guys probably know all this already, but head can rotate 360 and it can slightly move, move up and down. Arms can rotate 360 at the shoulders, and they do have a hinge point there that can move, make it move up and down. Biceps can rotate 360 all the way around. Elbow can go in and out, and wrist can go 360, and it can move slightly up and down. Same with the right arm. Only difference is, of course, is the hand molding. There's something wrong with his nerves on this hand, I think. He does have mid-waist movement, up and down, 360 movement at the waist. The legs can go in and out, back and forth, of course. 360 at the mid-thigh, up and down at the knee, and in and out at the ankle, which do go pretty, pretty far. Decent, decent, I like this guy. This guy is really, really great, actually. I like him a lot more out of the package. So that is about it. So you know what? I'm gonna take off and uh, I'm gonna go shoot some arrows with green arrow here. But you know what? Why don't you guys leave a comment? Tell me what you thought of this. Tell me if you have him, if you like him. I think he's really cool. And this is uh, Seaspray. So this is Seaspray. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.